main objective is to show and display how important AI is to the maritime domain awareness. I think that was the main objective. Second is just uh, continuity. You know, AI is, is an important uh, element, but uh, not by itself, it's standalone, part of the system. So that's actually confirming the correct can concept of operation for the National Security Shield project. The other objective as well, that technology in this field is really progressing. And we've seen it, for instance, from some of the presentations, especially the combine between SRT and Exact Earth. What we envisage, you know, uh, about EIS is true and it is going on the correct way fast as well. The, the big theme is still maritime domain awareness, okay, uh, and related to maritime security, achieving maritime security. I think probably, you know, we will still build on the AIS part as it's still the uh, hot topic in the area and most likely that we will look into as well the underwater threat for next year as part as well of the new uh, theme for next year 2016. We receive big support, uh, not only from the entities itself, but from the top leadership. For instance, the Prime Minister, okay, uh, who is the uh, Ministry of Interior as well. Their work, their support actually helped us a lot to bring Pio Marseille to what, what it is now. And you've seen, I think, the attendance level every year, including this one. Uh, we managed, you know, to fill the, the, the hall. And I was particularly happy with the Coast Guard attendance for this year. It was very unique and obvious, and they were very enthusiastic. And a lot of them wanted to want, uh, you know, one of the AIS uh, uh, from the rougher prices. But uh, I promised them that we will take care of it once, you know, we complete the work here. During the photograph session and from the discussions we had uh, through the break, uh, I was surprised to see some of them is very interested in the IS itself and some of them is worried about some of the people that are not really intellectual in that part and understanding the, the need and the requirement. Some of them actually in charge of uh, sectors, you know, uh, all over Qatar and uh, I've been invited twice now to two places, you know, to come there and visit and, uh, you know, uh, spend some time with them and uh, I promise that sometime, you know, in the near future I will do that. But uh, yes, uh, and I did already spoke to them since they come through our training center. I always give them uh, support and uh, inform them that, you know, we build this system and this capabilities and we do this conferences, not for us, it's for them. Okay, uh, and they should carry this uh, forward in the future. Uh, and it is their responsibility to continue this path. As far as the sponsors for QMRSEC, uh, 2015 as well. We'd like to thank the sponsors uh, Airbus, uh, Defense and Space, Abu Jumhur, SRT and MBDA and Airbus Helicopters as well. They've been very supportive, they've been with us uh, since the beginning and I think that's reflect the kind of relationship that we have with them as the National Security Shield with the industry. We hope next year as well we'll, we'll get the same support and from the rest who are uh, interested in continuing uh, with us on the, on the future as well. Thank you.